This week, you learn a game of skill that's so fair, they always lose. This episode of Scam School brought to you by your home for domain smacks, those evil geniuses at GoDaddy. Hello, I'm Brian Brushwood, and I'm not only the host of Scam School, I'm also a client. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week you're gonna win anything you want. You're gonna win money, you're gonna win beer, you're gonna come out ahead because we've got a game that looks like a game of skill, but in fact is rigged in your favor. Check it out. How's it going, I'm Casey. Casey. Diana. Diana. Anne Marie. Anne Marie, it's good to meet you guys. I'm gonna invent a game. Do you guys ever do that, just goof around? At the uh, the bar and invent a game. Yeah. Yep. And invent a, uh, I guess it's a gambling game, a bit of a betting game. And to make everything as fair as possible, you'll notice I'm making these little dots at least one full match length apart. Because I want to make this as easy as I can for you guys. I tried to make sure to use only stuff that uh, you'd be able to find at any bar, but this could be a bit of a crafts project if you did it at home. We're gonna play a game where we drop matches. If you're gonna drop a match down from about two feet up, would you rather aim to avoid the line or try to aim to hit the line? Well, there's more space between the lines, so I say between the lines. You say between the lines, what about you? I said between the lines, but I say on the line. You're gonna say on the line? I tell you what, you know what, we'll do a team thing. You and me, we'll go for on the line. And they're gonna go for between Wait, the lines. Yes. On the line or just touching the line? Well, touching, yeah, no, no, not exactly synchronized, but like, like that oh. would be on the line, oh. and then this one would be between the lines, <laughs> right? But yes. you guys are comfortable with your, with your positions, yeah, yeah. right? We're good. All right, yes, yeah. we're good. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll do, I tell you what, we'll do 10 at a time, and we'll all take Ooh. turns. We'll, we'll do a buck a match, and here's the deal. You gotta do, and, and the other team has to judge that, that, that you're high enough. You gotta be at least, we'll say, 18 inches up, and the goal is to drop it and try to land it. You guys are going for between the lines, and we're going to go for on the lines. Oh, Touch, touching on. the line is, 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 is on the line. Okay. Because look at how much room you guys have. You guys, I mean, seriously, look, you've got all this room, and we're just the little <laughs> tiny lines. So hard to hit the lines. <laughs> Bro? Yeah, that's, no, 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 that's, okay, that's good, that's good. Oh yeah, off the board, go again. Oh. You, did you snort? You just snorted. She's a snorter. You totally snorted. She's a snorter. All right. It's good to know. Get up. Uh, uh, uh. All right, there you go. Yeah! Ooh, between the lines! All right, go for it, Diana. Okay. Is that high enough? Yeah, that's high enough. Oh, it's touching. Oh, it's touching the line! No, really? <laughs> All right, here, oh, oh, go for it. Lawyer. Go for it. Judges. It's high enough? Yep. Well done. Here we go. I'm gonna go as well. Oh, one for you guys. All right, keep going. Well, it's touching that one. It's not touching the line. Oh, two more for the good guys. Hey! All right. Oh, well, that's another. That's a cross. There you go. And I'll do. Oh, that counts. It is so. It's over the line. Yeah, it's all, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes! All right, we'll wait till the end to judge that one. Oh, yes. good yes. job. <laughs> oh. I'll call that in for you guys, because clearly it would have been in. Yeah. All right, hold on. Yay! Hey! Okay. All right, so let's tally it up. First of all, I guess we'll, we'll do the one between the lines. That's you guys. Uh, we got one. Two. That one's clearly oh, touching. Yeah, that touching. one's clearly touching. Yeah. Oh, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five. So we got five not touching the lines. And here we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not touching the lines. And that's two dollars. So I believe that's one dollar for each of us. I like that. You can make me put it in my G-string. There <laughs> we go. Yeah. All right. So let me let me explain. First of all, two things. It may have been fun, but skill had nothing to do with the outcome, and we were destined from the beginning to be the winners. I'll explain how, but first we got to thank our sponsors. 
you know the game by now. Here at Scam School, we noticed that domains are so ridiculously cheap through GoDaddy that we've been registering them just to insult our friends. We call it domain smacking, and we just got one from Martin Downs, who registered the domain more addictive than crack.com and pointed it to the World of Warcraft page. Kind of saw that one coming. Don't forget that you can register your domain smack for only $7.49 and GoDaddy will point it to whatever site you want absolutely free. Just make sure to use the code SCAM3 at checkout. And don't forget to send me your best domain smack so we can feature them right here on the show. Get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy. There are two things about this rigged game that I think are really interesting. First of all, we take skill out of the equation by making you go this high up. Once you go this high up, there's really no way to skillfully land on either one area or the other. The other thing is the perception that one choice is more fair than the other. You look at this and you see all this real estate in between the lines and you think, oh, well that's clearly gonna be the bigger target, easy to get inside. But in fact, you're far, far more likely to hit one of the lines than avoid them. This is actually an old math puzzle. I know math at the bar is not really, really fun to bust out, but this is a math puzzle called uh, Buffon's Needles. And the question he had was, if you had a series of lines that were exactly the length of a needle apart and you randomly dropped needles, what were the odds that it would land completely outside of those lines? And the odds were very weird because they actually turned out to be two to pi. You can actually calculate pi by dropping a million needles on a grid just like this. And in fact, if you look online, there are actually programs that will simulate dropping random needles. And the more you do it, the more exactly precise wow. pi gets calculated. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I tried using toothpicks with this, but the problem was is they were too uniform and they would land flat. But the nice thing about wooden matches is they got this bulbous head at the end that causes a lot of randomness when it lands. So essentially, it's totally random. We act like it's a game of skill and we cheer for our side or their side. You'll notice also that I went crosswise. I used a diagonal here for my lines. Part of that was opposite the corners on the newspaper. So it makes everything look a little more chaotic. And so it also keeps you from lining shots up precisely because you can, if you get it just right, you can actually screen. land it and increase the odds that they'll land in between the two. You gotta make sure that the lines are one match length apart the entire way. If you get off of that, then the numbers get all screwy and you can no longer rely on that probability. A couple different ways you can play the game too. We played it as a team challenge of dropping one at a time, but you could just as easily say, which is more likely if I dropped a fistful of matches? that they would land in between the lines or they would land touching the lines. Just one shot? Just all at once, one yeah. shot. And most people like you guys would say, oh, most of them would land in between. They're like, well, I think most would land on the lines. And you bet a beer on it, you drop them all down, and then you count them up. You got one, two, well, that one's touching. One, two, three, four, versus one, two, three, four, five. So in that case, we come out five to four of the winner. Isn't that kind of a, a weird quirk? It really is. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. That was thank awesome. You. Thank you very much, Andrew, Diana, you. Casey. You guys thank are you. badass. Thanks, guys. Okay, now give me my dollar back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>don't forget, before you start pulling the match drop, you need to make a practice set at home. You're gonna find that different materials bounce differently. You want as random a drop as you can get. If you find that people are actually beating you at the game, it means that something's wrong with the setup of your configuration. You're using the wrong object to drop, you're having them drop it too low, the board's set up with the wrong springiness, who knows? Make sure to troubleshoot it out and figure out what works best for you. Now I want to hear the stories of how much you guys are making off of this scam, whether it's money, whether it's booze, you tell me. Post them at the boards at revision3.com slash scam school. Any questions or if you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. Don't forget you can find out all the updates about upcoming scam school episodes at twitter.com slash scam school. And if you want to follow my adventures on the road, I'm at twitter.com slash schwood. Next episode, we're doing something very different. We're actually going to learn how to train a pony to make cinnamon toast. Man, I love cinnamon toast. But until then, I guess I'll, I don't know, have a drink.
couple things when you're working out the match drop. First of all, make the props and try it at home several times. You'll notice that different matches bounce differently. Toothpicks match different from I said the wrong words. I guess I'll be making my own. I love cinnamon toast. What's going on, guys? Are you here for a couple days or is this it? I'm just, what's going on?